Two years ago, the government changed the contract under which dentists work for the NHS. The idea, they said, was to improve patient choice and access. But the latest figures suggest that half a million fewer adults and 70,000 fewer children are getting NHS care than before. A thousand dentists have also left the health service. Critics of the new contract say something is rotten in the state of NHS dentistry. And they're not just talking about teeth. The name Tour de France, it's a bit misleading. In recent years, the race has had stages in Germany, Belgium, Switzerland, Luxembourg, England, and even in Ireland. So in the interest of accuracy, it should really be called Tour de Large Chunks of Europe. It's about 4.30 in the morning now, and I'm shattered. Even the most uh, die-hard party animal has finally called it a day. Aside from a few garbage trucks and cabs, an eerie quiet has descended on the streets of central Philadelphia. But down here on the banks of the Schuylkill River, something is stirring. On their website, the company claims to be the biggest operator for this kind of tourism in Eastern Europe. A casual browser on your website may well come to the conclusion that what's on for the weekend is binge drinking and sex tourism. Mm -hmm. Would, would, they, would they be getting the wrong impression? We do not offer sex. But binge drinking, definitely. No, it, we uh, promote people to drink uh, responsibly, responsibly. I've seen pictures on your website of people throwing up. Is that responsible? No, this is not responsible, but then uh, if somebody's overdrank or whatever, that's... No, but you've, you've actually got it as, a, as, a, as part of the, uh, the come-on. What happens is we ask people to send in their photos after they've left. They might have been sent in, but you don't have to put it on your website, do you? Um, I, I, I think, I don't know who sent the photo in, I don't know which group is, but um, everybody sends their photo in, we, we put them on. There is no wallpaper in the Hotel Del Arte. There is wall and there is art. And as you might expect in Catalonia, there's nothing minimalist about it. Big art, in your face art, on your bed art. <laughs> During a trek to Everest Base Camp a few years ago, I experienced altitude sickness personally. It started with a blinding headache, and then my body systematically fell apart. Raging temperatures, cold sweats, shivers and shakes. A dull back pain developed as my kidneys malfunctioned, followed by convulsive coughing fits when water built up in my lungs. Within 24 hours, I couldn't eat or sleep. I was barely able to walk three steps at a time. I had high-altitude pulmonary edema, which can be fatal, but I was lucky. As a paying customer, I was properly kitted out, I had shelter, good advice, and a guide who made sure I got safely down the mountain. Just imagine what happens to someone who has none of these. I tried biking the same route as the cyclists. That was a giant mistake. I got stuck on the infamous Alpe d'Huez Road, one of the nastiest climbs in the entire Tour de France. The climb at Alpe d'Huez goes via 21 hairpin bends and rises over 3,000 feet from the valley floor down there all the way up to the top. Now there's a hard way of doing this and then there's my way. Throw some shells and see the future. Wear some charms called Grigri -gri and ward off evil. Sacrifice the sheep and improve your health. These rituals all come from old African beliefs called animism, as practiced by the bush doctor. Today in Senegal, the men of magic are called marabou. It's illegal for belly dancers now to display their navels anymore. They're usually covered up in either chainmail or a body stocking. Every wiggle and wobble is examined for moral purity. Make one false move, big mama, and you're nicked. <laughs> The English-French schizophrenia runs deep here. The official language is English, but the first language everyone speaks is Creole, based on French. You drive, as the British do on the left, but pretty much everywhere you drive to has a French name. So, vive la France. God save the Queen. Fair Loki cookie. They shake it all about. Having this paper does mean vendors do have some responsibility even after they've sold up, but like most things legal, it isn't simple. If you're in the market, the principle of buyer beware still applies, so don't rely on the law. Do your own homework. Scout the area, talk to the neighbors, and check out the ghosts 
before you make a decision which comes back to haunt you.